Look him, Wes. Boom! There he is! There he is! Woo! Ah! We're going to start trolling out on McMarlin, about 160, 170 feet, and try to and try to zigzag and maybe go out to about some five to 700 feet of water and work our way south down to some bottom fishing. And we're probably going to be wind up trolling for about an hour and a half, maybe. If we don't get no bites, we're going to go straight to the bottom. And that's right now. That's about it. Off, which one of y'all want to go first? I'll say, get it, get it, get it, get it. You got to grab it. I don't know what kind of caught it. I've done it. 31 and we're running a talico over here. Is that a horse? Valley hoo. It's a horse valley hoo. Some people need the eyes in, but I, I just like poking them out. It just makes me feel better. And I was telling my buddy Kelly Morgan a couple weeks ago, I went down to uh, Merle's in an outpost, and I got this lure, but they didn't have it set up for ballyhoo, for dead bait. It was just a trolling lure. So what I did, of course you can see that's the way we were running this bait this morning with the pin right up in there. Up through his nose like so with some rubber bands around it. So what I did was enable to run so I wanted to run dead bait on this rig. I made me an L piece out of this wire, and this is 108 wire. You can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, the shaft right there, and just rubber band the wire through the hook, through the eye of the hook, like so. And then I can use it to rig, put dead bait on it. So I'm sure somebody's probably did this before, but I just kind of thought about it and tried it. And this actually, this, this lure caught hook two wahoo one to the boat, and a big mahi that we lost two weeks ago, so it does work. Awesome. There's lesson 101 for today. Kenny, you want a chop? You want a chop? So it's for the gorilla's rod, it's up. You want me to keep going until we hit about 400 and cut it? Uh, we're trolling right now, just hoping to get something that'll bend the rod. Um, I say all the dolphins gone, there might be a few small dolphins out here. Uh, hopefully a wahoo, a wahoo would be great. Um, I'm not sure about the black fin tuna. I think there may be a few out here. Um, we're just kind of wishing right now, but we're not at home sitting on the couch with fishing, so. Yeah. About 275 foot of water. I'm gonna pull all the way out to about maybe four or 500 and then head straight south. If we ain't picked up nothing by then, we're just going to go bottom fish the rest of the day. The bottom fishing should be good. We got a current out here is just unreal strong this morning. Uh, I don't know if it's from the moon phase we're in. Um, what did you say? We're three days from a full moon? Or four days? Four days. Four days. So, um, it's a nice ride out here, and the wind picked up just a little bit when we got out here. It got a little choppy. Uh, seen flying fish twice. Uh, a lot of sargassum grass just scattered here and there. Nothing's, there's no no lines of it nowhere. You did have to clear the lines once already. Yeah, one time. And that was in about 200 foot of water right here, about 278 now. I just see a little small patch here and there. And, um, it's pretty bad back there, about 200 foot. So, we got Al Hannon on the boat today. Al's, Al owns my, our, my local tackle shop, Calix Outdoors. Say hey to the camera, Al. Say hey, camera. Hey, camera. And then I got my buddy Kenny Moore on here with me. Kenny was on here with me two weeks ago. Uh, had a great day fishing. Trolling, sometimes trolling is just fire, and sometimes it's hit or miss. You know, but you can always go to your bottom, and if you can find them, they'll eat. I mean, I, I don't think I've been out here bottle fishing yet, and they wouldn't eat. If you find a fish, they're going to eat out here. So um, we got a, we got a, uh, as uh, Pete would say, a plan B. Um, Another go-to plan if this trolling don't work, but we're going to be probably here trolling about another hour or so. 
hour and a half, then we're gonna go hit some bottom. This is a 24 foot Carolina skiff offshore. Um, Cuddy, walk around. Walk sea around. chaser. Sea chaser. Yeah. This is actually slow trolling. Um, and when you're slow trolling, you've got a chance to catch, there again, blackfin tuna, mahi, um, of course, wahoo. That's actually kind of what we're fishing for today's wahoo. Uh, but when you're fast trolling, when you're fast speed trolling, you're probably just going to pick up a wahoo. Um, there are sailfish out here. I'm not sure if any is out here this time of year. I know last year, my first time fishing out here, the first fish I hooked up on was a sailfish. Uh, he wasn't on, but maybe 10, 15 seconds. Uh, but you know, it's just exciting. Um, but you know, at, at the end of the day, you, you really, let's see our water temperature right now is 81.16. You really don't know what's out here, just, just in this area where we're at right now. Um, and especially what's below us. So. You know, it's just one of them things you don't know. You don't know until you go, so. We're trying it, just see what happens. Has that rod got grass on it, Kenny? Well, actually, a couple of weeks ago, the grass was a good thing because me and Kenny were strolling in about 180, 200 feet of water. And, uh, um, the grass got so bad that we just got them up and we actually we went out to deeper water and that's where we started, that's where we picked our fish up. Uh, that's where we picked the wahoo up and then we lost a big wahoo. Uh, do you remember how deep we were, Kenny? I, I, I think we're about 380, 400 foot, I'm just guessing. Let's see, what I, mean, I can look on here. We were in 360 right at 400 foot, right there where we caught them. Uh, so actually the grass helped us that day, it actually forced me to go deeper because we couldn't fish in the 150, 160 degree, uh, 150, 160 foot water. So, um, so we're just gonna keep plugging along here. We're gonna, I'm gonna give this about another hour and we're gonna go bottom fish. We were trolling. I started in about 160 foot of water. Went out to about 400. Um, we got to about 200 foot. We had a lot of grass. It wasn't nothing. And no lines were bunched up. It was just really scattered. Uh, had two lines we had to reel in, get grass off of them, and one of them being the shotgun rod, of course. Uh, we put them back out and troll for about another 10, 15 minutes, and one of my passengers is getting a little bit sick, so uh, we're gonna, I went ahead and got them up. We're gonna run down here and try to get some bottom fish. It, it really, it got a little sporty out here. It was, it wasn't flat when we got out here, but it was, you know, it looked good. And the wind just got up just a little bit. Now I'm seeing white caps out here. Uh, but I'm hoping it'll lay down here shortly. Um, it wasn't really that bad in the 150, 160, 170 foot of water. But when we, when we hit that 200 plus feet of water, it got a little sporty. So I can't really tell by looking back there. It looks like it's white cap in a pretty good ways. But we're going to go back and get in some 160 foot deep water and try to catch a few bottom fish. So we're going, we're going to the easy button now, I hope. Let's see if I can find some fish here on the bottom. I, every now and then, if I hit a little mark like this, I'll try to drop on it. And I've noticed sometimes if you catch a fish or two, it'll draw other fish in, and then the screen will just load up. Uh, but I really don't like to start fishing until I mark something, until I'm getting some good marks on the bottom. And we've got a strong current out here today, so. If we can find these fish, I'm hoping we'll be able to stay on them. We're going to see what happens here. we got a strong current and still a little sporty out here. Let's see if I can get on this mark. See what we got here. See how the current is. I just got just come out of the motor a little bit. See how much the current threw me off. There they are right there. So you put the trolling motor down, then use the big motors until you find them, then you hit spot lock? That would be correct. All right, we're going to try it right here for a minute. By the time that anchor lock catches us, the wind's killing us too. So I'm gonna leave it on navigate too, so I can follow that, keep that line on there. All right, now we're gonna drop some rods here and see what happens. Now, since you don't do this a lot, always turn that clicker on and don't turn it off. So you ain't gotta worry about nothing backlashing on you. But you still gotta use your thumb. I'm gonna put some squid on this bottom one. And that these hooks are a little bit big. I got you some smaller hooks over there. And I'm gonna put a piece of this ballyhoo on this upper hook. These are called chicken rigs. So 
that's going to be your rod. I'm going to let you use that uh, Talica. There's some fish down there now. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got a fish that bite already. Get it, boy. See, there's fish down there now. I think you got me. Have another piece of squid. I'm gonna squid George twice. I'm, I'm trying to get a, a big amberjack. So that's, Is that your first AJ dude? Oh yeah. And things fly good, don't they? Oh yeah. He just got a big fish on over here. Get him, Kenny! That's one way to fight seasickness right there, baby. What you think you got, bud? Big AJ? Uh, I'm not sure. Kenny, what you got, buddy? Need that rod, though. Go. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, right back. Oh, you guys are I'm hoping there's some, at least some beeliners down there, some trigger fish. About four or five triggers would be nice. Another AJ. Or Bailey. You still feel sick, Kenny? Yeah. You're fighting this fish sick. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that monster. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hit that one around the anal fin too. That's what you're saying. I mean, just think, dude. That, that would have been a disqualification in the big rock. <laughs> I know, right? I don't think it would affect. I don't think it that affected the fight. Do you? No. I'm worn out. Well, this is a baby. That's a baby. Dude. That's just a baby, I'm AJ. I'm in trouble. All right, Al, up again. What you got, Al? Another amberjack. They are hooked up. Oh yeah. Got doubles on. Wait, thanks, Al. It's all right, I guess. <laughs> Get back to Hartwell then. No, I'm the one that's going to rustle. Oh, yeah. ball. Oh, you don't have to have these when you're fishing Russell, do you? Yeah. You need a ball when you're fishing Russell. Oh,
JR's hooked up again. This has been an AJ day. Not sure what this is. I lost a grouper earlier. Then we got a big, I got a big clean trigger. And JR just got a spade fish. We're trying to catch a little bit more meat. We got a one B-liner. Grouper and the rest of them is AJ's. So. I thought you didn't need it. All right, go ahead and say it, Jerry. Say, I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. Get him. Get him, killer. Make that Therese bend down to the water. Put the second eye in the water. There you go. Get him, Junior. Al, what's the, what word is it? Starts with a U? Uh, who? Uh, 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 what? Hey, give that rod to Al. He don't want to say it. He's not done. You, 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 Al, you want to catch it? Uncle. Uh, uncle. Uncle. Uncle, there you go. I'd like to bring Scott Perry's big ass out here and make him say uncle too. Hold on. Yeah, don't touch the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 you go. JR's hooked up. Al's hooked up. <laughs> Damn. Mm. Giving that tree. Huh? I thought that was that for real. Let's see what Al's doing over here. Get him where? That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. Get him. <laughs> Yeah, it ain't shark, but. How are we doing? <laughs> Woo! Good job. Good job. It's big, whatever <coughs> it is. Right, baby. Mm. Take the color now. What we got, Al? Is that a trigger? Why don't I fast pull him over, Al? No rammer jack. All right. Awesome, dude. Yeah, it's a little grunt. Yeah, he didn't mean to do that. All right, put him in a box. Oh yeah, here you go. That's a big one. Come here, come here. Oh 
Cut me, Mick. Oh, we got color. Yeah. Another AJ. King of the AJs. I think it's a little remora, maybe. I don't know what it is. It's crazy looking, though. Yeah, there. All right. Woo! Yes, sir. The little baby remora is stuck to the bottom of the boat. It must have been stuck to that AJ there. Oh. Watch out on the deep. <laughs> <laughs> front. I can't get it unstuck. There it goes. Look him, Wes. Oh, there Boom! He there he is. There he is. Woo! Got it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 Tapped out, but where? This old guy is a machine. Engaged. Yeah. Big guy. Blue. It's blue. Al said even his buggers are busy. Slingshot engaged. I can hear you. Get it, baby. Turn him around. Let's go ahead and look at his mouth. Oh. Good job. Oh. Good job. Well, we finally found some good eating fish. But heck, man, we're going to leave them biting because these amberjacks have just absolutely kicked our ass today. See ya. Alright. We come out here this morning. We got a little late start. We left the marina about 545. Uh, we tried trolling for about an hour and a half. Current and wind is just terrible. Um, we got out in about 400 foot of water. And it was just, it was really, really sporty. So we tried trolling for about an hour and a half. Came out here to bottom fish. Uh, it was just really an amberjack kind of day. Um, so you'll get, see later. Did you get a giant queen trigger and some grunts? And Got a queen trigger. Spade fish. Grunts, a spade fish. And, uh, but yeah, it was just, I couldn't get away from the amberjack today. We got a beeliner. Um, really, you know, amberjack's good. Eat, cut the back strap out of it. Some people say they don't like to eat the worms, but 
There's no worms in the back strap, or not that I've seen. Uh, we got a box full of fish. Everybody caught fish, everybody's tired. Um, Al said uncle two or three times. Uh, it's just, you know, I mean, it, 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 and it's a good day. We caught fish. You know, a lot of people say, well, they don't like sharks. They don't like amberjack. They don't, don't like out. this. Uh, it's the camera shot. Get over here. You know, um, everybody caught fish today. Al said uncle. You got, you got to get close enough to pick up on the mic. Now. So, uh, what do you think about it, Al? Do you like this? Is this oh, your yeah, first time yeah. saltwater fishing? Yeah. Like this? Yep. So, what do you it. think? Appreciate you breaking it. You're more than welcome. What do you think about them amberjack? Pretty fun to catch. You see why they call them <laughs> reef donkeys now? Yeah. yeah. Wore me out. Well, we're going to head back in a little bit early. Uh, my buddy Kenny's actually toughed it out. He's been sick about the last four hours, and they said nothing. Let's go. Nothing. So that's, and then he, actually Kenny caught the biggest amberjack, which you'll see later. I think that fish was probably 55 pounds. Um, just a great morning. Uh, we're going to go in a little bit early. So everybody's tired, and I can't get away from the amberjack. Um, I've tried with everyone in 200 yards of this spot, and I can't get away from them. You know, it's just, we yeah, catch one here, Caleb, one there. Give Calix Outdoors a shout out. And uh, yeah, I'd like to give Calix Outdoors a shout out. This is my buddy Al Hannon, he's the owner. Um, I started going in Calix about probably 10, 11 years ago. Um, Al actually said today he can remember when I come down there with my first John boat, which was a 10 foot Eagle John boat. Yeah. And uh, I made me a wooden floor in it. And, and had me, bought, bought me a used trolling motor, and I was putting herring in a five-gallon bucket going to Oconee Point and striper fish. I was somebody. Uh, <laughs> come a long way since then. Um, uh, I don't know. You know life's just great today. Uh, being out here with y'all, my friends, catching fish. Um, you know, like Pete, Pete Malik, you know, he had a trip last week. They couldn't really get out because the weather was bad. You know, and he made something out of nothing. Uh, and that's kind of what we did today. You know, I mean, I did get out. We found a lot of you know, a lot of rod mending fish. I'm talking about, and you'll see later in the videos, fish that's pulling drag, and that's what I like. I mean, you know, I do understand the meat thing. Um, I was wanting to, we, we spent the last hour trying to find some bee liners, you know, trigger fish, something to keep to eat. We went around it with a couple of grunts and a queen trigger and, and that uh, spade fish, but uh, it's been an awesome trip all the way around, and I appreciate you guys coming out with me today, and I really appreciate my cameraman. Hadn't had JR on the boat in a while, so we're gonna have some cool video to look at here in a couple of days. Peace out and tight lines. Hey, Kenny. Yes, sir. Look at the hey, fish down there. The camera, say bye. Thanks for hanging in there. Bye. <laughs> God, I